is part two. Part two of Flow TV. All right, let's learn something about this. And um, you might want to know that this is brought to you by Road Lovers. Yes, that's my wife. Yeah, that's her um, cell phone. You can write to her at McCray.com at gmail.com jk mccray jk mccray at gmail.com great so before you get started let's view the basics our agreement has been updated so you just sort of touch the screen and it seems to go ahead so here are the basics to get to the program guide tap the guide button on the front of your flow tv to dismiss the guide simply tap the guide button again to browse the program guide, swipe your finger vertically or horizontally across the touch screen. Tap a program title to start watching. If you'd like to learn more about a program you're watching, tap the information bar. Use the back button to return to watching full screen video. To change the channels without using the program guide, swipe your finger vertically on the touch screen. Just tap I'm increasing the volume on the side, I think. I obviously touched something else. Ah, there they go. There, that's the volume. So touch the high. So now I want to just continue. Go, guys. Oh, I have to touch the side. Tap the information bar of a new channel to start watching. Tap the background to keep watching the current. Oh, it stopped. Program. And other tips can be found in the help section of the settings menu. Okay, so that was the basics. These and more tips are available in the help section of the settings menu. Get started. So I'm just touching the screen. Go. Okay. Mobile TV preview. preview, searching for signal. Well, I guess you can get better service, maybe if you're outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we're seeing here is that it buffers, so it pauses while it's downloading something. And now, as it's playing this, it's buffering the next segment. Yeah, here's another buffer. Here it goes. I don't know, why don't they just get to it? Searching for a signal preview. Guys, let's, let, let's get to it. Ay, ay, ay. Well, while we're waiting for them, you're going to see that the support... They have pretty good number. It's called 888-99-FLOW-TV, F-L-O-T-V, flowtv.com, and they have downloads. Okay. Well, guys, what are you doing here? I don't need all this. Turns that off. You're all so good. Can you guess what happens next? I can do a mute. There. That's the mute. The mute is below. This is high and low volume. On the side, that's the earphone. And then, I guess it's charged up when you're, the battery's charged up. I'm just going to plug in on the side here. There. That plugs in. Then, Cable is going to plug into here. I'm going to just um, toss it in here. Let's see what it says on the screen. Huh. Oh, there it is. That's what happens. Now it shows that it's, the battery is being charged. Okay. So that's the battery status. 
I wonder what this button is. What's that button on the right? Battery level button. I don't know. What should we do? Battery level. Check out what's on the grid. Deek. If I press this button, what's it happening? I don't know. Okay, so I think we have basically... Ah, the guide button is here. So let's touch the guide button. Okay, when you touch the guide button, it shows what's happening right now. Okay, so there's preview, AEC. Oh, there's 60 minutes. How about that? So if you press it, what happens? I think we're going to 60 minutes now. You are not subscribed to this channel. Check the question for more information. Great. And that's because I haven't gone online. So I need to go to Flow TV or call that. And you'll need the device ID. See? No. Your description is being processed and your device should be able to see. You will be notified. Please be sure to keep your device on and in coverage. It says signal is weak. Great. All right. That's it. So this has been part two of your introduction to um, personal TV, also known as Flow TV.